Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you my new product. It is the the only standalone Atmega 328 bootloader without the need for a PC. This is it guys. So I want to show you what I used before with my contraption here. This is my Arduino Uno with my breadboard and this is what I used before to upload the bootloader to the Atmega chips as you see here. And the way I did it, I took them with my DUI uh, pickup pen, picked them up, put them on here, and then I did hold them down with my thumb. I did a video about that and I showed you that before, but just as a reminder, so I put down my thumb on there and then push the reset button on the, on the Uno, or you can if you have the code loaded you can type G and then it will upload the bootloader and then you take it off and do the next one. It goes pretty fast but uh, it was a kind of hassle to align it on the pins and put your thumb down and whatnot. But believe it or not there is a date on this. It's uh, 0 to 2016 when I designed this board and since then I'm using this single board to upload all my bootloaders on the 328 and I'm sure I did for sure over 500 and probably close to 600 or something like that so and this still works it's just a little cumbersome let me put it that way to do it this way so plus you need the bootloader and reach over and push reset or type in G in the keyboard and press enter whatnot so this was the way I did it worked beautifully fast but it does go better and I used the program OptiLoader uh, OptiLoader OptiLoad now I have to lie I can't remember if it's OptiLoader or OptiLoad which is the code is not by me but I did add the I edited the code so you have now a readout on the OLED display. So let me show you this real quick. Uh, it has uh, power input 5 volt. You can also have uh, just 5 volt with a pin header with a double pin header over here. So you can you just need to supply it 5 volts. No no PC required. You have the reset button which you push to upload code. You have a 6 pin IPS header ISP header I'm sorry ISP header which I did not uh, solder because I'm not using it but uh, you can if you need to if you want to so this is the standard ISP header and I also have my straight six pin version ISP header which I use on most of my boards or, on, or actually on all of them like on this VGH board which I have the positive marked with the red uh, shrink wrap and I just hold it over here and then push reset and upload the bootloader so I can if I ever have to have this manufactured and um, <coughs> assembled with the chip with the 328 of course they do not come with the bootloader from the factory but I can then just do it on the board before I would have to get it like this and then upload the bootloader and then solder it to here or reflow it so with that I eliminate one step and I can do it myself with this uh, these deadly pogo pins are pretty sharp you can take them off if you want to and uh, this is the one I use with the pogo pins oh and of course the most important here is the little pocket for the 328 chip and as you see this is made with two PCBs the bottom one has electronics and uh, contacts and the white one is just a frame basically but uh, this way I can have the 328 sit in here and let go anywhere and I just push slightly with my finger and then hit the reset and it gets uploaded and I will show that to you uh, it is <coughs> I'm sorry I have to drink something real quick 
it has also buzzer so if you don't want to look at the screen you can also do it by ear but this little guy is loud so I put a piece of black tape on it not to shock you people so this is the same in green or white <laughs> and I want to show it to you that uh, this is just a 5 volt power bank plug it in and it will say failed of course because it has nothing to bootload the uploader to so maybe I have a bad connection here okay well let me do one this way and then I do it from the PC power so I have my oh, let me just uncheck the pin has to be in the upper left corner so this way they are not all aligned right so I go pick one up uh, this is actually the second time only I'm doing it I just did a test run to make sure it works and what this program also does is the power pins are not connected yet they only get connected once you hit the power uh, the reset button so while you're putting it in here if you had any misalignment nothing will happen you just push slightly with your finger or just hold it press reset and it failed let me see maybe I did push not enough on here try again failed well these chips come from Mauser so I normally trust them let's try this again long beep means done so as you see it works and just pick it up I don't have a good connection on here I push it down press reset done and this could even be automated with a pick and place machine Okay. like somebody noticed the other day on my video I said for few effect it's a German word for if you wanted to show something it for goes it's for sure goes not the way you want to long beep done so as you see for anybody who needs to do this on a regular basis and in large quantity you can do it make sure I have the corners aligned right and as you see it's uh, failed this thing has a bad connection here let me get the power from my PC let me hold it because it's gonna run it right at the first startup No, it didn't. Done. It did. But I didn't hear the peep, so. Anyhow, as you see, it works. Next one. I'm kind of clumsy today, I think. I don't know why. Push it down. Hit reset. done so it does work let me try this one again was it aligned right yes once in a while you do have chips which fail let me see if it done okay it was just me not pushing down enough But this is it. I will put this up on Tindy. And if you do want to get it, uh, as you can see, I have a 5 pin and 6 pin. 
the six pin is ex exactly like this. I use this to upload the bootloader onto this. So I wonder how the first chip got ever bootloaded without a bootloader. Anyhow, this is it. As I said, uh, it runs with five volts. Uh, it's uh, it works with all 328, 168 chips with uh, the regular uh, P, the PB, which I bought by mistake a while ago and um, this was it i hope you find it interesting if not sorry <laughs> anyhow take care youtube till later